In previous videos, I showed you these two talking book record players for the blind. The one on the left being a later model from the 1990s, and the one on the right being an older model from the 1960s. I thought I'd make a video combining these two machines so I can demonstrate the performance of each one, and you can draw your own conclusion as to which one you think is the better one. For this demonstration we'll be using a magazine, recorded magazine, the Reader's Digest, recorded on an 8 RPM 9 inch flexible disc. I have both machines with the volume and tone controls in their approximate mid-range position. We'll start with a new machine. Turn the power on, press the tone arm down, move it over to the edge of the record. Okay, sometime today, please. The Reader's Digest, June 1979. Copyright 1979 by the Reader's Digest Association, Incorporated, and issued by permission of the original copyright holders. All rights reserved. The talking book edition of the Reader's Digest is recorded on four records for the use of the blind and physically handicapped in cooperation with the Reader's Digest Association in the studios of the American Printing House for the Blind, Louisville, Kentucky, May 1979. A note to our listeners. The recorded edition of the Reader's Digest is provided free by the American Printing House for the Blind and is circulated through your original libraries. Since this magazine is especially popular, we urge that you read your library copies promptly and return them for use by other listeners. If you wish to receive an individual copy, which you can read at leisure and retain, you may purchase an annual subscription from us for $7.50. Address the American Printing House. Here's our volume control. Six four. All the way down. Four oh two oh six. Read by Paul Clark. Maximum Paul volume. Ryan Halloran and Bert Blackwell. Table of contents. Minimum tone position. One. Have you an amusing anecdote? Maximum Used tone the position. My career as a bureaucrat by James North. An encouraging word. Here's our variable Here speed control. Gerald Moore. Toward more picturesque speech. But you can't lose. By Patrick B. Sullivan. The man who worked out by Theodore Roscoe. For two. Normal Four. speed is in the detent position. Making prisons pay by Ralph. And if you wish to play a 16 RPM record, you just press this switch down to the right. CIA Impressive, the Campanese case by Henry Hicks. Two players for Sharon by Philip Yancey. Side three. Hacky, hit up the chair, pickle, pickle, pickle. And if you wish to play an older 33 RPM talking book, you just press this switch down to 16 RPM. Move that lever all the way to the right. Okay, you've heard that one. I will take this same record and place it on the turntable of the old talking book machine from 1965. And this is a vacuum tube based unit. The other one obviously is solid state. So let's give it a try.
Reader's Digest, June 1979. Copyright 1979 by the Reader's Digest Association, Incorporated, and issued by permission of the original copyright holders. All rights reserved. The Talking Book Edition of the Reader's Digest is recorded on full records for the use of the blind and physically handicapped in cooperation with the Reader's Digest Association in the studios of the American Printing House for the Blind, Louisville, Kentucky, May 1979. A note to our listeners. The recorded edition of the Reader's Digest is provided free by the American Printing House. Here's our blind, tone control. through your original libraries. Since this magazine is especially popular, we urge that you read your library copies promptly and return them for use by other listeners. If you wish to receive an individual copy, which you can read at leisure and retain, you may purchase an annual subscription from us for $7.50. Address the American Printing House for the Blind. And here's our volume control. Louisville, Kentucky, 40206. Maximum volume. Read by Paul Clark, Hal Tenney, Ryan Halloran. And this one gets so loud that it causes feedback between the cartridge and speaker. Have you an amusing anecdote? News from the world of... And I hear an airplane coming over, so I guess we better call it a day here. But I just wanted to make a quick video showing you the differences between the old and the new. And you can draw your own conclusion as to which one you think's the best one. Okay, thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it.